Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, the 41-year-old reigning NFL MVP, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots, as they get set to take on Sam Darnold and the New York Jets. With that, we head up to MetLife Stadium as we'll hand it over to the two men that'll call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, thanks, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. A few moments ago, the crowd here was on their feet as their beloved Jets made their way out of the tunnel. They're ready to go. We're ready to go. It should be a good one as those New York Jets get set to face off with Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, we've got two teams who know each other extremely well. These division games, they tend to be battles. People scout like crazy in this league, but no one scouts more than within the division. Because if you win your division, you're automatically in the playoffs. That puts extra emphasis on these games, and they can't wait to get at each other. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Illegal block in the back. Return team. So that one will be accepted. Play fake here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Didn't have the greatest field position to start, did they? And now, after this sack, it's way, way worse. And right off the bat, first play of the game. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. A shotgun snap for Donald, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for, and it's third down. Uh, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that, because when the game starts to move fast, and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. Third and long, it's Darnold. He's going to air one out. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's fourth. Trust me, Brandon, I'm not about to try and take your job. I can't do what you do. But that wasn't just three and out. That felt like three and backwards. That's exactly what it was. Uh, you can have my job whenever you <laughs> want it. Uh, the drive that you're looking for, though, probably going forward. Bad start to the ball game. Yeah, not the way to get things going. Now Edwards to kick as he sends it away. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Patriots take over. We see Tom Brady as he brings out the New England Patriots. Now Brady, he had lost three straight starts just one time in his career, way back in 02. And he made sure that it didn't happen a second time, Charles. A statement win last week against the Dolphins. It certainly was a statement when the Dolphins coming in 3-0, feeling like this is their opportunity to take charge. Remember, if the Dolphins won that game, they're up three games in the AFC East in the early going. But Tom Brady said, uh-uh. He is now 15-1 and against the Miami Dolphins in his career at home. So he puts up 275 yards, three touchdowns, and says, let's go, Pats. Let's get back to being us. By 20! By 20! Now the rookie out of Georgia, Sonny Michel. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 
starting lineup here for New England. The wide receivers, that crew, they've been in, in flux a bit, Charles, but now they have Josh Gordon and Julian Edelman coming back. Yeah, how about that? And he missed the first four games of the year, but they do have a little bit of concern because Rob Gronkowski, they're all pro tight end. He left the Dolphins game with an ankle injury. They're not sure, you know, people are not sure, did he leave because of the ankle or did he leave because they were up so big on the scoreboard they could afford to rest him? They're certainly hoping it's the latter. They'll run it here. This is James White. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. And quickly, the starting 11 now for the New York defense. I want to highlight the back end of this defense and especially focus in on the safety duo of Jamal Adams and Marcus May. Adams, their first round pick. May, their second round pick. And both had tremendous rookie seasons. Both can play free safety or strong safety. I call them mirrors. What one is doing, the other is doing the opposite. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and 10. Throwing his Brady on third down. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Forcing the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. On fourth down, on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Back deep here, Andre Roberts. That'll be a 47-yard punt, officially five on the return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Let's dissect what the Jets have done so far this year before they take over again on offense. They're one and three. Of course, that week one win everyone was so excited about because they blew away the Lions, but three straight defeats since, Charles. Yeah, and the tough part for them is how do you operate against good defensive fronts? Miami's got some talent there. The Cleveland Browns better across the defensive front than maybe they get credit for. And Jacksonville, we know, is loaded there. Hard to move the ball. They struggled against the Jaguars. Just 178 total yards in the game, just 34 three, rush yards. Three, so that means you got to throw it. And it means your rookie quarterback's under duress. He was sacked three times in the game. And the result, only 12 points to Jacksonville's 31. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. I know that rookie quarterbacks have to earn veteran receivers trust. Maybe we saw that on that play with that type of effort, huh? Yeah, helping out the rook with a heck of a catch. Cleveland Brown, Isaiah Crowell. They had no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And before they can run another play, the clock hits triple zeros. And time is up on the first quarter. Nothing, nothing, our score. And we will return to MetLife Stadium after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. With Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. It's the Jets in possession as we begin quarter number two here. They've got a second and nine to start things out. Shotgun, here's Darnold. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Three. 
an extra corner on the field for New England here on third down. Yeah, another DB. They'll try to run for it with Corral. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. I'll bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call. And they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. Here's Lachlan Edwards now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this short timeout. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. Here's Lachlan Edwards now as he's on to punt for New York. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. coming out to take over the football yet again and uh, Charles <laughs> you and I were talking about this before the game but it was a one and two start for the Patriots the whispers oh, oh the boy, dynasty's over. over what's going to happen now and boom 38 to 7 over Miami and what you might call a get right game yeah it certainly was a get right game and can't you just pretty much set your watch to it pull up the calendar and go oh the Patriots struggle a little who are they playing oh that team's in big trouble this time it turned out to be Miami you know Tom Brady had not lost three games in a row since 2002 he had lost two in a row this season didn't get to that third one, did he? No. Played awfully well. Defense played well. Just stifled Miami early. And the New England Patriots, we can write a different story about them now, can't we? Yep. Two upcoming home games on the heels of that Miami home game, Indianapolis and then Kansas City. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, you just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. Now Michelle, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. On third down, Michelle. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. So after a scoreless first quarter, we at least finally get some points on the board. But it can't be what either of us expected, can it? No. The safety's not what you expect for the first points of the game, but one of the goose eggs is gone. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. And this will be taken at the 13. And the Jets set to take the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Good. 
Darnold going to lead the Jets up now. First and ten. On first and ten, Darnold into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a quarterback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation, looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is, when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets, but oftentimes your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing, and for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Brady now on first down. Got a man complete. It's Chris Hogan. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. Let's go. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And right side caught Hogan. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. First down now, but that clock rolling. Brady again. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he's going to get into the end zone. So cue up the Gronk spike. Gets a Patriot touchdown. Rob Gronkowski in the final seconds of the first half. And the Pats able to cash in for six. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Extra point good by Goskowski. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. 
A drive there of just four plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Koski now out to kick it away. Andre Roberts now to return it. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome everyone to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Brady now on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. Brady again here on second and 10. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure could get to any quarterback. And he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Shotgun now for Brady. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. And a key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down, spectacular catch. Turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. Three. 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 Three.
to the right side, and he's got Edelman. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A gain of six there on first. And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver, and Edelman's one of the best in the game. Knows how to go inside what one of my college coaches used to call the briar patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And not only can he do it, he can often run away from people Mike after the catch. Mike, Mike, Mike. Ready to throw again. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Brandon Copeland coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. From the gun, it's Brady. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt, and look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. Brady now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and 10. A give. This is Michelle. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. A gain of three, second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. to throw on second down. Throwing left side, he's got Gronk complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And Gronkowski's got it, complete over the middle. This carry with the extra effort is going to get him stopped up just shy of the 10. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. On second down, here's Brady to Michelle on the dump off. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Sony Michelle, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. 
I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Goskowski with the extra point and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. A 10 play drive that time and it ends with a New England touchdown. Koskowski now out to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and ten. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. to the air, Darnold on second down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That catch good for five, it's third down. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. off to Powell and he'll get it up to the 33 yard line give him two yards on that play and that's going to bring up a fourth down fourth down and for Darnold it's desperation time he's going to let it fly and that is incomplete they had to go for it with such little time remaining and the Patriots take over they're going to have terrific field position so with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none. Yes, exactly right. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And he stopped immediately there. Now here's a timeout defensively, defensive timeout called by the Jets. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play.
Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Again, it's Michelle. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Now the Jets are going to burn another timeout as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. On the handoff, it's Michelle. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Brady going to look to throw, and that's complete to the right side of Tower. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. The Patriots in the victory formation as they'll take the knee. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. So long, everybody.